Hey guys, what's going on? Shaw here, and today we're back in Karazam, and I want to walk through exactly how I would run this route. I know there's a lot of hot takes. I posted a video last week talking about just like a very basic straightforward routing through here because I think a lot of people are getting confused mostly about the layout because there is also a ton of count in here. But in this video, I want to just walk through exactly what I, th I personally think the best route through here is. This is based on my experience both with pugs and in my push group um, or the players that I end up pushing keys with. So let's just talk about it. So the way I like to look at this dungeon is you break it up into two segments or maybe three segments, depending on how you look at it. So we're going to start the dungeon here next to the broken stair. This is the graveyard. This is where you're always going to spawn no matter what. There is no other checkpoint in this place, which kind of sucks, but we're going to actually use this to our advantage. So to start off, what I like to do, you don't have to do this because the timer is actually pretty lenient is you'll pull this forlorn spirit and you're gonna drag it all the way up the hill and you're gonna end up like pulling some of these mobs. What my group did was we actually tagged this side as well. Now, this is a pretty large pull to start with. You have to be careful about a few of these different philanthropists. There are, I think three of them here. So you have to have a basically an interrupt for each of the pennies from heaven, which is this cast here. Very scary if, it, if you let that fully channel, mainly because it just swirls on the ground that come out fast and they pretty much one shot. But you do this first pull. Now I'm saying when we can need to be a little bit more careful again, and you don't have to pull this. If you're not comfortable pulling this side, don't. I, what I'm doing here though is I'm grabbing as much percent as possible. They're only worth point, um, like this is only worth like two percent this entire pull, which is not a lot. But nothing in here is worth a lot, so I end up just pulling this anyways. We are then gonna go walk downstairs. Now once we're down here, I'm going to basically pull these based on CDs of my group. We're gonna pull this group. Then we'll pull this group, then we'll pull this group. So one at a time. I mean, you can double this up if you really want. If you're comfortable, if you're coordinated, whatever it might be. Um, if you really want, you can also pull this stuff just for a little extra count, but you don't need to. And then we're going to go down to the guest chambers. And then this is where the map looks crazy. But what we're doing is we're running down this little hallway here. And we're going into the, uh, into the boss fight. So depending on the week, depending on what region you're in, it's going to be different. Uh, and then we're going to do the boss. Now, <laughs> this is a little bit of a hot take. And I know there's some people who will disagree with me on this, but I don't care. A lot of people suicide. They they just they come in here, they die, and they reset back to the graveyard. That's a great strategy. This we're gonna also use that strategy, but this trash I think is pretty efficient for how easy it is. What you can do is you can easily group this up. Let's just say my next pull, I could pull maybe these understudies. I'll pull the patrols. Maybe I'll grab this and uh, yeah. So this is my next pull. You can, blind, you can line of sight this back out to the stage. You can use this stage to kind of kite in circles. And these dudes don't really do a lot. Like, you just basically dodge the swirls that are underneath the mobs when they're casting, like, Final Curtain, Poetry Slam. You just always kite very slowly, but you kind of kite in a circle. After that, I would then pull something like this. Same thing, back to the stage. And then, then we will reset by doing a, a death. So our group would just run all the way down and just basically go down here and blow up. So this is where I think the trash really gets scary because you have all these singers who cast things like Firelands Portal, which if this goes off, you're fucking dead. Because not only does it do a ton of group damage, but it also summons another thing that's going to be hitting your tank, hitting your group. Very, very scary. So these singers, you just, you run down here and you just die. And the reason we're doing that is because doing these ushers is very... I don't know. It, you can make the argument that they're efficient. You can make the argument that they're inefficient. I'm going to make the argument that they're inefficient because of how many times you might have to line a sight, because of staggering, because of the debuff that they apply to your tank that reduces their armor, which is called Punch Ticket. Uh, this is nasty. It does have a good bit of damage, but on top of that, every time they do it, it's going to essentially do more damage, as well as their autos, because you're just having reduced armor, and having reduced armor is never a good thing. And there's not a great way to remove this unless... I, I don't... Does Kyrian Purify remove it? If you know that, let me know in the comments below because I haven't played Kyrian in this key yet. And uh, yeah, a lot of this trash... This is what is really inefficient, these these ushers. Um, and also, like, this this stuff is really dangerous, these these singers. Now, of course, there I've seen groups be successful, um, even in, like, 20s, 22s, 23s, pulling this and just hold it going through. But... I think for the most standard pogs, like the, they're good, people have issues with this stuff down here. So at this point, we're going to die and we're going to reset back to the graveyard. So let's go back to the graveyard really quick. And you can get there by going here and up this way. And this is where you're going to be. 
right here. Now, instead of going forward, like I've talked about, you'll actually run, you'll run down, down this hallway here. Because we've killed the first boss, this guest chambers will open, which is awesome. Um, hug this right wall. Keep hugging right, keep hugging right. You're going to come right into here. You're going to keep hugging right. And then once you enter here, now this is where the route can become a little bit more optional. You can either go to Maiden if you'd like, but what my group likes to do is we actually jump down. We go right to this balcony here and we jump down into Rose Room. I'm going to try to have footage playing in like maybe the lower left-hand corner of a key that we did last night. So now we'll find ourselves in this area. So we're going to jump down right on top of this and we're going to do this pull in this corner. Maybe this waiter might pad in. I don't know. You could tag this guest. Um, and then you'll be clearing this room. So you can pull this room however you like. You can double this stuff up if you have big CDs. You can pull it one pack at a time. It doesn't matter. It depends on your group's ability to clear trash efficiently, what cooldowns are up, yada yada. Now here's what I recommend. Moro's, I think regardless, is a scary fucking fight. Just like he's he's a scary dude. So, we are going to just clear trash until we have lust again. Because we lusted probably the first boss, um, you probably have maybe six minutes on lust left, five minutes, four minutes, whatever it took you to get back here and clear this trash. So we're going to keep clearing. Now, I personally like to go into the kitchen and then pull it back into this room so you have room to like kite around. So you can come into the kitchen. Um, you can pull this and these guys and maybe the chef. Again, this, is, this isn't like an exact route. This is just an example. Then maybe you can tag some other stuff. You can do maybe a bigger pull. You can grab some extra nathers in, whatever it might be. You can grab as much in here as you like or as little because you can clear trash in other portions if you're more comfortable with that. The idea for this route though specifically is we want to, to try we want to try to avoid as much maiden trash as possible because this stuff is just annoying. Is it hard? I don't know. Depends on your group's IQ. But some of the trash in there is kind of nutty. All right, so we clear the kitchen um, or a good bit of the kitchen. And let's just say we still have like a minute on laws. We're waiting on CDs. We can continue pulling some of this stuff. So we'll maybe pull this pull. Um, maybe we'll grab grab this by itself. Um, and then maybe this patrols here with maybe this pack here. And then you can grab this stuff. And then, okay, all right, we have CDs. We have lust. Let's go into Moreau's. So you have lust. You have whatever. You go kill this man. The order is going to change every week. Ideally, uh, my one uh, friend last night pointed out pretty clearly, you basically want to target any of the male characters in that fight first. You'll throw ghost traps from this. Um, if you want more ghost traps, you can go into the kitchen. There's some, I think, right here-ish. So you can, if you clear the kitchen, you have more ghost traps. You can also clear the skeletal hound in this corner. If you want to keep pulling, there's skeletal, uh, more ghost traps back here. And then you can CC whoever you want on the fight. You can CC three at a time. Um, with Lust, I don't think you necessarily need to. You can pull two in and then just use your defensive CDs, use all your CDs, and, uh, offensive CDs, and just blow shit up. All right, Murrows goes down. You kill it. You're awesome. Great group. Swag. You'll then head down. This room will be pretty clear. You can actually head down to Huntsman. You'll be coming out right through here. So you'll be coming into this room. Depending on CDs, you can pull this room as passively or as aggressively as you'd like. Um, what I like to do is I try to group up the horses, leave the stable hand out. Um, and then you can pull maybe the stable hand with these horses. Or you can maybe pull this side because you have to clear both sides. And there's like a wall here. So you have to kind of pull like a C-shape, backwards C-shape. So we're going to slowly clear this. Let's just say on Sanguine Week specifically, there's Sanguine's now over here. So maybe we'll pull some of this stuff. Then we'll uh, come back since Sanguine's cleared. And then we'll finish this up by clearing this trash. Again, you're, you are totally free to pull as little or as big as you'd like in this area. Just it depends on group coordination. Clear this area. Now we're just doing Huntsman. Huntsman's a pretty easy boss outside of the healer dispel. There's a great weak aura that I will try to remember to leave in the description below that will tell you if everyone in your group has it, it tells you instantly who to dispel. It just highlights their name. It says in the middle of your screen, dispel so-and-so, and you just fucking dispel them. Easy. It's crazy because if you don't have the weak aura, the, it's very hard to see and most groups will wipe to this. So get that weak aura. Highly suggested. All right. Now we're done at this point, right? We have oh 85% trash. Midnight's dead. Three, three of the bosses are dead. We're just going to head right back up here. We are going to pull like this guest pack plus this dude. And we're going to head upstairs. So you're going to head upstairs. Um, this ser this servant does a big patrol. If he happens to be downstairs, you can just try tag him. You're going to be pulling him anyways. You pull him here. And then you pull this with this. Um, you can also pull the servant in if he's patrolling in a weird spot. And that should put you at like 93% trash. Now, if you have lust up because you didn't use it on Huntsman or you were just really fast through that part of the dungeon... Uh, you could get lost on CD right away. So what I recommend you do is you can actually invis skip 
to Maiden's room. Do Maiden. You'll have Lust. Make sure you have all your CDs. If you don't have all your group CDs, if, if, no, if some people don't have CDs, pull some trash first. Come to this room and then pull trash into Maiden's room. Just don't pull the boss, of course. You'll kill Maiden. And then at this point, you can pull any of this trash. Not all at the same time, but like there's two, there's sometimes two sentry here. You can tag this and this. You can line a sight back. Um, and then there might be a patrol here. Uh, you can just kind of come back down this way. Now, there's also other ways you can make up trash. You can pull um, back down here. You can pull this stuff, right? You can pull this for extra count. You could pull these guys if you really want to. I find these guys kind of annoying, though. Um, you can pull some of, more of these guys in with this blue pull, right? So, like, just to make up that little extra bit of percent, you can try to tag some of this shit. But they're not worth a lot, right? So, I think what my group ended up doing is I think we did this. We, we're missing something, though, on our route. Something's missing. Not the hound. Was it one of this? Maybe it was one of these things. Yeah, I'm not sure what I missed. Hmm. 99.5. That's strange. What could I have missed? Did we? I don't think we pulled the center group. Maybe it was a Skeletal Hound. Fuck it, we're gonna say Skeletal Hound. Alright, that's it. Right there, boom. You can actually drop this guy, I guess. Alright, so that's it, right? So we're gonna, we, we, we're gonna just basically clear this entire ballroom. And then we, again, just a reminder, skip to Maiden, and then kill Maiden if you have Lust. If you don't have Lust, you can pull Trash first. If you have Lust, you do Maiden, then you pull Trash afterwards. So th I know this route looks confusing. But this, I think, is the most efficient route because you have a lot of dead time. This is dangerous after first boss, and this is not as efficient as I think a lot of DPS players and tanks would like. Because of how many times you have to like run out, you have to LOS, you have to turn around, you're getting autoed in the back. You can't really pull all of these guys at the same time, or your tank will get annihilated. Don't get me wrong, like this center trash is very, very efficient because you're able to mass pull these patrons. So if a tank has like big CDs up, you could pretty much pull this entire room. But it's just as efficient to kind of skip around um, and do bigger pulls throughout the rest of the dungeon instead of one at a time. So that is my like recommended route in both pugs and in pre-mades because it skips, you skip Zolgamex, you skip some of the harder trash in here, these singers, uh, and you also skip the most, what I would consider inefficient on these ushers. And because you're able to skip all of this with only just like a quick little like death skip, uh, it makes it very, very, very efficient. So let me know how wrong I am in the description below. But this would be my this would be my route. Yeah, we ran this last night at 19. We timed we almost two chested it. We had like eight minutes left on the timer. It was pretty good. There might be some small iterations you might make to this mount, uh, like this route, depending on. Oh, I don't know. Composition, what tank you're playing, how comfortable you are through here. And don't look at these pulls and be like, oh, this is exactly how I have to pull it. Like, you can kind of freestyle some of these pulls. Um, the patrols and these single mobs are scary. These pulls that are, there's a bunch of guys in, they don't have a lot of mechanics. These guests don't really do much there. They, like, they have all these random casts that they could possibly do. You can interrupt, interrupt Goblin Dragon Gun just with like a AoE stun and like kick uh, Searing Pain and Immolate and heal. Like there's a couple of kicks, but if a heal goes off, it's not like keys burnt. It's not like a fish stick. It's just a heal. Uh, so yeah, that would be my route. So let's run through it one, one quick time. This is the fast paced version. All right, so you go up the hallway, you tag, you could tag both sides if you'd like. You then go downstairs, you pull these three packs, then you go to first boss. After first boss, you clear the backstage area because I feel like this trash is pretty efficient if you're coordinated about it or good about it. And then after that, you you can run past Little Gummock, she'll pull, you run downstairs, you die. You just, you die down here, whatever. It resets you back to the start of the instance. So now we're back at the start. This is where your group can actually sit down and get food buffed together because you guys know that you're all here, you're all together and you're going a different way. You'll get food buff. You go down to the guest chambers. You come into here. So you run here into this hallway, then you turn hard left onto this balcony, and then the balcony is overlooking Moreau's room. This is Moreau's room. You jump down into here. You leap off the ledge. You jump down. You go into this pole. You tag in these guests if you'd like. 
you pull the other side, and now you're waiting for lust. You clear some of the kitchen, you come back, you clear some of the ballroom, you got lust, you got the CDs, you got your ghost traps, you're ready to go. You kill Morose, you finish clearing whatever trash is still up, and then you head down to Huntsman. Huntsman, clear the room, very, very simple. Clear the room, kill Huntsman, go back to where you were, back up to the banquet hall, and then you go upstairs, you clear, and then go to here, and then from here, you pop in Viz Pots, and you just run all the way to the end of the hallway. If you have CDs and Lust, you go into Maiden. If you don't have CDs or you don't have Lust, you pull Trash. You, you can pull these guys into Maiden's room. You stay up against the wall here. Pretty easy not to pull Maiden. If you're between the pillar and the wall, you're good. If you're, if you're past this pillar towards Maiden, there's a chance you'll pull. And that's it. That's the route. So let me know what you guys think below. Let me know if, this, if there's anything to watch out for in this route in particular. We ran this on a 19 last night. We had like eight minutes left on the timer. It was pretty good. Um, so hoping to get some better timed keys for this fucking shithole dungeon. Alright, peace.